wonder if these pucks are offset a little bit. Jeez. So this is the lost cabin built by uh, Mr. Oki. Don't remember his first initials. So that was the the manor where the main house. I think uh, that building over there was uh, the wool processing plant, and it's definitely a. Uh, rough place to survive back in those days i'm not sure what how how many of the buildings obviously uh, this garage here and that building is probably uh, either rebuilt or recent recent addition but that building in the background looks like more more of original it's uh, unfortunately close to the public uh, for touring maybe it will be reopened at some point oh well, we're moving All on right, so we were riding along came across this pretty deep ditch and not sure about the condition of the eye it's already uh, afternoon so we're going to turn back and go back but mitch so mitch got this jeep couple of a uh, couple of months ago and um, tell me uh, what it's all about well I got it for $800 and it was supposed to have a, a head gasket leak on it but I terrored into it and found that it was just a radiator that I needed so price the radiator and it's been running good ever since what year is it uh, 2001. How many miles do you have in it? 220,000. Still running pretty strong. Mm -hmm. So since you bought it, what did you do to it? I put a two and a half inch lift on it and these mud terrain tires. What I size are it. those? Uh, 31 10 and a halfs. And uh, well, I see you had to trim the bumper a little bit, put the hooks. The tow hooks got a Christmas present from a buddy the light bar but really pretty much stock except <clears throat> for that little add-on lift and a uh, little bigger tires yep right on well we are we're going to head back but uh, do you have a spare spare tire tire spare yeah spare I do. tire it's at home no well, nice, because your right tire is flat. Oh. <laughs> he didn't uh, know that, so we'll see, we'll see uh, if uh, the repair kit will do it. We have the compressor, we have the repair kit, and see if we'll uh, fix it, since there is no spare tire. <laughs> Off-roader. <laughs> All right, let's get on to it. Are you going to use my uh, high lift jack? Probably. 
I think it's the sagebrush somewhere. Or maybe sharp rock, who knows. Hopefully it's not a sidewall. Mm -hmm. Well, let's find out what, what it's all about. And Well, Mitch has Bobby, his, his buddy, riding with him. Bobby, why don't you open up my uh, rear and start... Get, well, first, you'll need to open up the swing outs and get the high lift jack. Mitch, what are you going to use for anchoring point for the high lift jack? Huh? Where are you going to... Uh, I'm use my bottle jack. Are you going to use your bottle jack? I might. I think it would be able to reach high enough. All right, let's get the repair kit, Bobby. Um, get this drawer, open it up. Yeah, just pull it. And I think one of those plastic uh, containers have a repair kit. You can you can open it up farther. That way, we'll have easier time. I think it was right after we dropped down from that big hill. That's good enough. So, let's see which one has it. Not this one. I think it's this one here. That's silicone gasket maker. Let's look under on this one, maybe it's in here. I don't see it here either. I don't remember where I have it. Maybe uh, it's in those, in those plastic ones. <clears throat> it's sidewall. Sidewall? I see it leaking out of there. How bad? Not very bad. Well, let's see if we'll be able to repair it. Yeah, right here. On the outside? Right here. The On the inside? I want to break the lug nuts loose first. That would be a good idea. 